Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. Today I'm going to talk about lactose fermenting bacteria. Lactose fermenters, okay. So it's a kind of a, what you call type of enterobacteriaceae. So tell me the characteristics of enterobacteriaceae. Enterobacteriaceae tell me the, whether they are oxidase positive or negative. They are oxidase negative, right? They are oxidase negative. They are oxidase negative. Then they are catalyst positive. Remember, oxidase negative, catalyst positive, cat positive, okay very important catalyst positive and reduces nitrates to nitrites nitrates to nitrites Nit nitrites okay so they ferment glucose remember so lactose fermenting we have two important bacteria that is E. coli and we have Klebsiella pneumoniae. Okay, so tell talk me about tell me the lactose fermenters are two important bacteria. There's the E. coli and Klebsiella pneumoniae. Okay, so E. coli is a really very important and a big topic for a USMLE step one examination. So let me brief you with some important points about E. coli. They are normal in colon, right? Right. And they have P. pili, X additions, right, and causes. Number of plenty of infections, meningitis, neonatal meningitis, nosocomial infections, travels diarrhea, hemorrhagic colitis, okay, so and hemolytic uremic syndrome. So they have different toxins. Then we have ETEC that causes travelers diarrhea, and the toxins produced are uh, heat labile toxin, LT, and ST heat stable toxin, right? So very important of ETEC. That causes travelers diarrhea. E T E C, right? So E I E C is um, invasive. E H E C is hemorrhagic. That causes hemorrhagic colitis and hemolytic uremic syndrome. Okay, what's the strain? Zero, one five seven, H two H seventeen. Okay, that's why E H E C. E F E P E C. We have another one. That's the plasmid coated. Okay, so how do we treat that? Ampicillin or sulfonamides or cephalosporins. Let's talk about the Klebsiella pneumonia. They're capsulated, quillung positive. Capsulated, quillung positive. Quillung positive. Okay, then cause is very important pneumonia. And in pneumonia, you need to look for current jelly sputum. That's really very important. Chronic lung diseases, alcoholism. If the patient is alcoholic and they, he develops a pneumonia, then think of Klebsiella pneumonia as the cause for it. Okay, then it can cause aspiration pneumonia also. Okay, it can cause UTI, especially in the catheterized patients. How would you treat that? Uh, the drug we use is cephalosporins. Okay, guys. So this is about the lactose fermenting bacteria. So we have two things: E. coli and the Klebsiella pneumonia. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.